Okay, let's have prayer. Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the food. That Finally, we I came upstairs and I sat down already annoyed. Hello. Are you not feeling well, Whitney? My head's hurting from your annoying stories. Your head is hurting what? Probably from the stupid farm. Inanimate objects can't be stupid. They're inherently neither good nor bad. You have an answer for everything, don't you? And you have an answer for why you always have an attitude. Do I care? When you have no respect for authority, you're, you're in for a very difficult long road. You pride yourself on lack of care. I am a really special you're, person. You're, I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. I know. There's a word for you. <laughs> Called, it's really? called egocentric. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really? What's that word? It's a psychological word. Really? You were just so smart, aren't you? You shout <coughs> selfishness. Wow. That's awesome. It was quite a shock to all of us to see the level of disrespect that Whitney showed to Paul. But I've got you figured out. Really? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Whitney was just being sarcastic and being a little smart ass and you could tell that Paul was getting kind of fed up with it. The glasses are a way to keep the cover up going. That's what's happening. Actually, I'm trying to cover up how tired I am of your annoying stories and your attitude. All you're doing is digging yourself a hole with me. We were just so shocked how much she was insulting him. He just deserves more respect than that. One thing that you need to probably remember about me because I'm not your daddy. I know you're not my dad. Right. That's one thing you're not. That's right. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I'm not I'm not as confused as your parents are. My parents aren't confused. Yeah, they're confused. That's why you're here. Don't talk about my family. I'll, I'll talk about whoever I want to. Don't get the away from me. Hey, right, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something you're not going to do. The you're, one thing you're not going to do is You're going to control me. this home. When you're out of control, somebody's got to step up and get control. We're seeing the real Whitney coming really? out. Really? Uh, yeah, really? we are. Let me tell you. you no in there. Talk about my family. I can talk about so my family. No. Don't touch me. Don't push me. No, you're not going to push me. You're going to learn that you're not controlling this home. You're just unraveling right now. We were all just sitting there appalled. Whitney got totally out of control. She's gonna have to have a little time to calm down. What came out this morning was not our doing. It just hurt for her so bad because it's not her fault. I understand. Yeah. That's how I feel. How do you, you feel? You weren't raised in the same home she was, Emily. Well, if she had grown up here, that would never be happening. But she didn't. Well, I, I know that. And she thinks that our life sucks because we're not like her. It was totally unnecessary for her to act that way. She just has a bad attitude. <laughs> I just can't stand her. What we, have to, what we have to do is try to help her. Hey, Whitney, can we talk? She can't handle a lot of pressure. So what I'll try to do is re-enter with the soft step. I want to put the shoe on the other foot, so to speak. You know what I'm talking about? You be Whitney, the mother, and I'll be Paul, the kid. And you were genuinely trying to kind of communicate with me, talk to me, and I just went, yeah, nope. It's none of your business. What would you do with me? I don't know. Do you have any idea? It's not as easy as it looks, is it? And he asked me what I would do, and he's a kid and I'm the adult. I guess like some things I can understand. I might have had a little attitude, but you did not have to bring my family into it, saying they're confused, you know, whatever you were saying. Don't appreciate that, okay? I might have went off on you. Okay. And I'm sorry. I accept your apology, okay? I don't have any animosity towards your family at all. I'm sorry that your feelings got hurt, okay? Because that's not my intention. So the only thing I want to ask you to do 
is to try to work with me. And when you get your consequences, you don't flit and, and sure, you say, okay, I'll do it. Because it'll say, okay, she went off, but she pulled herself back together. We good? Cool, great.